Increasingly, utilities are facing pressure to do more with less while still maintaining high reliability and customer service. One of the ways in which AutoCAD Map 3D can help with this is by supporting the flow of data from design and as-built systems to GIS, asset management and other applications. The AutoCAD Map 3D Industry Toolkits provide users of Map 3D with industry-specific data models for water, wastewater and electric utilities. The industry toolkits are made up of several components and help to enhance productivity and support data flow between different applications. When opening one of the industry toolkits, if you click on the Map Explorer pane, you'll notice that the template comes with object classes, industry symbols and annotation templates, and also layers preloaded into the drawing. Here, you can attach a drawing received from an external contractor and preview it, then use a drawing query to bring the water pipes into your drawing. If you select one of the newly imported pipelines and check the properties, the pipes have been drawn on a layer called Waterline. They don't have any additional intelligence such as material or diameter attached to them. If we select all of the lines and then go to our Map Explorer and right click on the Pipe Object class, we're able to classify all of these lines into pipes. We can now see that if you view the properties of a pipe, it's drawn on the WA pipe layer, it's drawn in the correct colour, and there's a number of object data properties associated with it, such as manufacturer, diameter and material. You can type values into the object data field, for example material may be PVC, and uh, the diameter of a pipe may be 25. As well as layers and object data, the toolkits also contain annotation templates, which allow you to automatically label your utility assets such as pipes, hydrants and valves with the object data associated with them. Here we can select an annotation template, in this case we're using pipes, and just click insert. If we zoom in we can see that the pipe has automatically been labelled with the information associated with it. These labels are also dynamic, meaning that if the data for an asset changes, the labels can be updated by a one-step process, saving a great deal of time. Another advantage of using the utility toolkits is the ability to streamline the flow of your CAD data to GIS or systems of record. By using the Data Export Wizard, you're able to select data to export interactive layer by layer, here we'll take the pipes, and more importantly, select the object data that you've associated with each of the items you've decided to export. You're able to choose an entire object table, in this case we can scroll down and find the pipe table, or we can take whatever properties are of importance to us, so we can take manufacturer, date, diameter, and perhaps uh, material. In this way, you're able to take the intelligence you've given your CAD data when you've exported that to another format. By using FDO technology to connect to the resulting file, in this example it was an SDF file, and viewing the data table associated with that, we'll be able to see that the object data attributed to pipes in your CAD environment is now available for use in other systems. There's no need to re-digitize or re-enter data, saving time and money, and ensuring that your CAD data conforms to your design standards. By establishing standards and improving the consistency of data throughout drawings and maps, design data can be more effectively understood and used throughout the entire organization.